So the idea here is to copy a sector and paste it in sheet number two. So in order to do that, let's do a quick dry run on the uh, modular steps that will be required before we actually go ahead and record macro. So let's understand that what exactly we are going to do. The first step would be to select this full range, right? Because this is the one which we need to kind of select. So we'll select, let's say cell A1 because this is the place where we will be looking at. Okay, so I'll do that simultaneously so that we are able to kind of follow. So I'm clicking here on cell A1. Please note that I'm not recording the macro for the time being. I'll, I'll do that once we are clear with the full steps. Okay, now number two is basically then I need to go to the data ribbon and click on filters. So that's what is step number two. So let me write it here. Data ribbon and then click on filters, right? What is step number three? Step number three would be to select your sector. So say for example, I would like to select, let's say banks. So this is step number three. Okay. So uh, step number three, select the sector. So for example, we have selected banks. Okay. Now step number four, step number four would be to copy this full range do a control C right because we want to copy this range so step number four is basically to select the range and copy what is step number five step number five is to go to sheet two and basically select cell number a1 and paste it so this would be step number Five. So I'm selecting cell number A1 and pasting it. So that is step number five. So I'll write this step number five. Copy we have done. Then we go to sheet two and then select A1 and paste this. Sheet. So this is the overall steps that we are going to follow. And uh, let's try to record the macro as per these steps. So I'll delete this for the time being and I will undo these and remove the filters. So let's start by recording the macro and let's see what code are we able to generate and is it kind of flexible from all angles or not. So the first thing I will do is obviously I'll go to the developers tab. So I'm now recording the macro as per the sequence which we have just discussed. Okay. I'll go to record macro and since this macro is uh, regarding the copy and transfer so I'll, I'll just uh, use some you know sector selection you know this is this is the macro name which I have selected and I'll click OK so whatever things I do now will be kind of transferred in the macro so okay so I will click here on a1 because what was step number one step number one was select a1 so that's the first thing I may have to do uh, even though your uh, uh, you know a cell would be on a1 or it can be here in D but the idea here is that you must select a1 when you're running your macro so that the code comes when we look at it uh, in the visual basic editor so I'll do that and then once I have done this I go to data and then click on filters right that was the second step so we have completed the second step what is the third step third step is to select the sector that is banks so let me do that I'm selecting the sector that is banks here okay now this is step number three what is step number four step number four is to select the range and do a right click and a copy right and what is step number five is to go to sheet number two select cell number a1 right click and paste it okay so this is how we have kind of completed our first macro here and um, let me go back to the developer tab and stop the recording so this is how we have kind of you know done the recording so let me remove this and see if our macro is really working or not so I'll I'll go back to the default state and remove the filters from the data tab 
and uh, I'll access the macro from uh, this icon here macro or alt f8 is what you can use so I'll click on alt f8 and I would run the macro and I hope that this macro runs correctly so yes I guess so we can see that uh, you know it it actually outputs the bank sector in sheet number two so excellent so what we have is that we probably have the right code uh, at the back end which we can retrieve from the visual basic editor so I'll actually go now into the visual basic editor to kind of understand what is going on in the code and probably explain to you as well in detail